Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy DIY. I've been wanting to have a floating breakfast like those Instagram Bali vacation pictures, but I don't have Bali vacation money. So I tried to just order a floating food basket and I found them, but they're about 200 to $500 and that's just that's just ridiculous. So I decided to just figure out how to make a regular basket float nicely with my breakfast on it. For this project, you're only going to need three items. You'll need a glue gun, two floating pool noodles. These are made out of foam and I got them from the Dollar Tree. And you'll need a fruit basket. I purchased my basket from Walmart and the dimension on this basket is 16 inches in diameter. It is made out of seagrass and it cost me $26 and some change after taxes. This basket is large enough to serve one person. I do plan to make my own basket out of scratch soon and that's because I want a bigger floating basket so that my floating basket can serve breakfast for two instead of just breakfast for one. I started off by cutting off the tag. You don't want to risk messing up your basket by yanking off the tag. The next thing you want to do is grab your pool noodle. And what we're going to do is make a donut that fits the outer rim of the bottom of your basket. We're just going to cut off the excess noodle. Once you cut off the excess noodle, now we can grab our glue gun and glue each end of our noodle so we can create that donut. You want to make sure that you hold the two ends firmly together until that glue completely dries. I did add some glue to the outer part where the two ends meet to create a form of seam. Now that we've created our donut, we can go ahead and glue that directly onto the bottom of our basket. Once your glue is dry, we can move on to adding the next pool noodle. We're going to glue our second pool noodle on the inside of that donut, creating a sort of swirl. This is going to create a nice even surface, which is important because you don't want your cup or your plate to sink towards the middle when you set it on your basket. Once that glue is dry, your basket is ready to serve your floating breakfast. And this is how my breakfast turned out. I'll make sure to vlog the bigger floating basket I plan to make out of scratch so you can see how I make that. I'm really happy with the outcome. As you can see, it holds my breakfast perfectly fine. It did not let my coffee spill over. I pushed the basket around just to test the stability of the cups. And even then they would stay upright. I will be doing a bathing suit haul next week from Sheen. And this bathing suit I'm wearing in this shot is from that haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate the subscribing, the views, the thumbs up, thumbs down. Thank you guys so much.